Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and uh, looking forward to New Year. I think we got like three days, three or four days to New Year's. I had my stepdad bring his bike down last week and then went to my brother-in-law's in the uh, Salinas area for Christmas Day and I ended up bringing home his 2013 Softail Heritage. We talked about doing some work on this and he uh, said, hey man, pick up my bike on uh, Monday. So we're gonna get some work done on that. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what he wants done to it. So this is his 2013. He wants the bars changed. He wants the riser changed. He wants the forks to go black. Everything with tape on it, he wanted done. He wants uh, new wheels, did I mention that? New 16 inch wheels. He doesn't wanna go white wall, he wants to just keep the black walls. But I gotta talk to him about that because they're seven years old and uh, I don't know if anybody will mount those on the new wheels. So anyways, he wants a new uh, black crash bar. He wants to leave all of this chrome on there. It's a 103. The brakes are bad. I'm probably gonna have to change the rotors because those rotors right there are, are really uneven. So I was gonna have these brackets back here, the saddlebag brackets powder coated again because the paint or, or whatever started coming off of there, rust set underneath it. And so, and then I gotta, you know, put new plugs and wires in it for them and then probably clean that out if it's not a K&N. Looks like it's a K&N. Clean that out for him and make sure that it, uh, I mean, it runs great. Oh, and then it's got a bad leak. It's got a really bad leak. That's actually where the drain is. I believe that's where it's leaking. It li literally leaked all the oil out of the bike. I got new uh, new levers for them. I'm gonna change those because those are pretty bad. The bike's been sitting in his shop, but it's uh, water gets through there, so there's a lot of rust. You can see that there's just a lot of rust on the bike. So I'm gonna clean it up as best I can. I'm gonna put new mirrors on there for him. You can see how the riser there, he wants a black riser. The only thing he wants left chrome is the light bar, the lights, and uh, the uh, the bezel. The light bezel but you can see how horrible the forks are and then his wheels did start getting uh rusty look at my nosy dog he just got to sniff everything but the bike is super clean so that's got rust on it too you can see the canister on the oil i don't know the last time he changed the oil on it he hasn't really been riding it that much so i'm going to check the clutch for him i'm going to go through the whole bike i'm going to check the belt you can see how that's pretty rusted too get those done this I'm definitely gonna change. It's been, you know, foot pegs been falling off. And then uh, I'm gonna tune it up for them and, uh, and go from there. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then my stepdad got this 250 that he loves. And uh, it's also been sitting outside because he does not have a garage, but the clutch is went out on it and so i'm going to be doing a new clutch on this and tuning it up for him and uh this got a 11 000 original miles on it it's a 250 it runs really good probably going to buy this from him for my wife he wants to get a bigger bike and this would be perfect for my wife to start and so there's sapphire you guys got a part and stuff i was moving stuff around and uh there's beautiful sapphire right there she's got the uh chrome forks on there now those came out really, really nice. So I'll be riding that to work next week. And uh, I'm going to be riding this girl to work as well. That's pretty much it on the bikes. And this girl right here has got to get taken in. She's going to get taken into the dealership. I'm going to have that front wheel checked out because it's got a real small vibration in it and uh like around 30 could be the balance on the on the tire or the wheel but rather than me messing with it i'm just going to take it to the dealership and have them check it out and so i might change those too i'm not sure yet i might just go two into one on it you guys let me know what you think those of you who are actually entered into my uh, current giveaway and those who are considering entering let me know if you want to go two into one and it probably comes out to the end of the bag there or if you wanna go ahead and stay with these guys, let me know.
So hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. New Year's coming up in a few days. So I'm wishing you all a, a great uh, 2024. I hope you guys had a decent 2023. And so I wanted to let you guys know that I've made no sales in the last two months. Absolutely zero. One in October, none in November, and none in December. I'm planning on giving one of these bikes away first week of March. I have hats, and t-shirts still available, three different colors for the women. And I have uh, up to 5X in the men's black and gray t-shirts. I need to post one of the gray t-shirts so you guys can actually see that. But I definitely wanna give the bike away March 1st. You guys can pick whether you want Wolf or Sapphire. Sapphire, she's the very classy, elegant, smooth riding, a lot of power. She's not a racing bike, she's a cruiser, but she's got the get up and go, the passing power and everything. But if you want the rocket, if you want to be racing everybody and whatever, I believe it's a stage two on Woof, but uh, that thing's got a lot of torque and a lot of power. And it's definitely, a, it's definitely a rocket. So that's my plan. So if you're new to my channel, I bought a couple of bikes from the auction and I restored them both, 2009 Ultra Classic and a 2010 Street Glide. I'll put videos up there so you can actually see the pictures. I'm gonna put descriptions down below of extra videos so you guys can see the bills if you wanna see the bills or the latest things that I've been doing to them. Since I have not given them away, I've had the opportunity of buying more parts, trading parts, and putting them on the bikes. So I'm not trying to hang on to all the nice stuff that I'm getting and the chrome forks and all that, the nice seats and everything, whatever I'm getting, bars, grips, whatever, trading, buying new, or I've already had, I'm putting them on the bikes just to get let you guys know how serious I am. I want you guys, the winner, to win these bikes and to be extremely happy with them and not just have them for a short time, but be able to just have them and ride them for years. You know, everything's done to them already. You don't need to do absolutely anything to them other than change the oil after you've had it for six months to a year. Everything works on the bikes perfectly. I went through everything. So if you're interested in one of the bikes, do me a favor, man. Head over to my website. I'll put it in the link below. I'll put it in here, jcustombuilds.com. You could go there. I have six different hats, two different color men's t-shirts, black and gray. I'm going to list the gray. And then I have three different color women's t-shirts, which are medium, large, and extra large. So the men's t-shirts now go up to 5X. They go from a medium all the way to 5X. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a correction on that as well. And again, I'm trying to sell at least 100 more t-shirts or hats at $100 or 125 at $75. You guys let me know what works for you guys, what's easiest for you guys. I just really, really want this to happen as soon as possible. So I'm looking at March, first, which is going to be the first week of March is where I'm intending to do this giveaway. If we could sell out faster, sooner than that, if we could sell these 100 tickets in January, I will announce the winner within a week after we sell out. So it's up to you guys, man. If you guys want one of these bikes. Oh, I also want to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm up to 715 subscribers. We've gotten 250 new subscribers in the last two months. And I'm hoping and praying that at least 100 out of the 700 that I have would be willing to enter this current giveaway and win one of these beautiful bikes. 2009 Ultra Classic Sapphire Blue or 2010 Street Glide Nardo Gray. So head over to the website, buy yourself a hat or a t-shirt or both. There's no limit on entries. You can buy as many as you want. Other than that, I want to wish you guys all a happy new year. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for subscribing. You guys have a great evening.